नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श छू वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी Hello students today we will study about the introduction of chapter number 1 standard 9 number systems okay so uh, till now you have uh, studied the uh, natural numbers and whole numbers and integers right so once again we will see uh, what are these number sets and what kind of property they have okay so what basically the set is the set is a combination of objects right like uh, your subjects your science subject subjects maths english social if we put all together in a bracket or in a box then it is called a set of subjects in the same way the numbers are in different ways we can put together and that is called the set okay so basically there is a classification of uh, sets so first is natural numbers right so in this set what kind of numbers are there first of all the natural numbers is denoted by the capital m and these all are one 2 3 4 5 6 up to infinite all are the members of this natural number set right this all 1 2 3 and 4 are also called the elements right in the same way the second number of set is a whole numbers set okay so it is denoted by capital w numbers or the members of this whole number sets are 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to infinite so the difference between natural numbers and whole numbers is just a this one member zero here there is no zero but in whole number zero is there okay so we can say that all natural numbers are whole numbers right remember these things but all whole numbers are not natural numbers because zero is not there yes some of the whole numbers are natural numbers okay third type is of integers so integers contains all minus numbers minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and up to infinite this set have both the sides infinite numbers plus side and minus side okay so now we can say that all whole numbers are integers because this portion starts from here in the same way now all natural numbers are also integers but all integers are not whole numbers some of the whole numbers sorry some of the integers are whole numbers right fourth one is rational numbers right so rational numbers are denoted in the form of numerator and denominator here we will denote numerator as p and denominator as q so what basically p and q are p and q are integers that means we have to take p and q from this set there is a condition that q is not equal to 0 because any number divided by 0 is not finite or it is not defined right so what kind of numbers are there in natural uh, rational number sets see here some of the examples 2 upon 3 minus 1 upon 6 0 99 upon 23 1111 upon 621 this kind of numbers are the members of rational numbers set right so there is a question that all integers are rational numbers yes why here there is only numerators in integers where is the denominator yes there is a de denominator because we can write down minus 3 as minus 3 upon 
also we can write down 2 as 2 upon 1 right so there is a denominator that is 1 we are not actually writing here but there is a denominator that is why all integers are also rational numbers but again all rational numbers are not integers right to show the relation between all these number system there is a diagram see here here is the diagram so to understand this thing properly here is a diagram see here first number offset is natural number right there is a member 1 2 and 3 after that there is a number of whole number set this is a portion of whole number set it contains 0 1 2 3 up to infinite after that there is a set of integer integers minus numbers 0 and all plus numbers so this is the set of or this is the area of these integer numbers and after that there is a rational number set right it is in the form of p by q and this is the area of the rational number set okay so from this diagram you can remember that all natural numbers are whole numbers all whole numbers are integers and all integers are rational numbers but reverse process is not possible that means all rational numbers are not integers some of the rational numbers are integers yes in the same way all integers are not whole number but some of the integers are whole numbers again all whole numbers are not natural number but some of the whole number are natural number right so from this diagram there should be asked some uh, true false questions or one marks question so this diagram is very important okay so this is all about this introduction of first chapter so now we will see some of the exercise sum so the very first exercise is exercise 1.1 and the question number one is is 0 a rational number can you write it in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 so we can answer this question as yes 0 is a rational number why because we can represent 0 in the form of p by q see some of the examples here we can write down 0 upon 1 the value of 0 upon 1 is 1 in the same way the value of 0 upon 2 is also 0 value of, of 0 upon 6 is also 0 you can also take the negative numbers here but all the values are 0 right so we can write down 0 in the form of p by q so this is the solution of question number 1 now we will study the question number 4 you may wonder that where is the question number 2 and 3 so the question number 2 and 3 we will study in the next lecture right so this true false actually these are true false statements so these statements are based on our number sets knowledge right so now we know that the number sets and its properties so we can answer these statements first statement is every natural number is a whole number right we know that natural numbers starts from 1 2 3 4 and whole numbers starts from 0 1 2 3 and 4 so yes we can say that every natural numbers are in the set of whole numbers so this statement is true second statement is every integers is a whole number so now we know that integers are the minus numbers zero and positive numbers and all numbers contains only zero and positive numbers negative numbers are not there 
So every integers is not a whole number. So this statement is false. Here is the reason. Minus two, minus three, minus six are not the whole numbers, right? If you have asked here that some of the integers are whole numbers, then this statement is true. But every integers are not the whole numbers, right? Third statement is every rational number is a whole number, right? So the rational numbers are in the form of p by q. and all numbers contains only 0 1 2 3 and 4 this kind of numbers so this statement is false and here is the reason 2 upon 3 5 upon 7 are not the all numbers right these two are the rational numbers but these two are not the all numbers right here also if you have asked that some of the rational numbers are all numbers then that statement is true so you have to first of all see that what you have to ask then only give the answer of this type of statements right so keep this clear in your mind right so the next part we will study in the next lecture okay thank you thank you for joining us